Hello and welcome to this series of short videos which will be accompanying my album, Invisible Music, folk songs that influenced Angela Carter. The next pair of tracks I'd like to talk about is tracks 6 and 7, which are the child ballad Lucy One, sometimes known as Lizzie One, which is child ballad 51, and an extract from Carter's short story, John Ford's Tis Pity She's a Whore, which turns up in her posthumous collection of stories, um, American Ghosts and Old World Wonders. It's an amazing short story um, set in the, the American Midwest. So uh, according to Chris, this Chris drew this picture of Carter singing from memory. She's actually singing Lucy One in this picture. And this was one of her repertoire. So I know that she actually sang this song. I'm not quite sure which tune she used. I suspect she probably used a tune that's in the Penguin book of folk songs because they used to use that at their meets. I've actually picked another tune just because I prefer it on my record. So I'm singing after the, after the singing of Martin Carthy. I love it. It's a beautiful Lydian scale melody. But either way, it's a creepy song and it's about brother, sister incest. And again, like the one, the example that I used earlier, it's, it's got this everyday lack of judgment about this incestual situation between, this time it's between brother and sister. So there's something a little bit more consensual about it. There's something a little bit more heartbreaking about it. And the, the song itself is stark. There's no detail. The brother and sister have a row. He kills her on the spot because she's pregnant. And there's just no, there's no frill. There's no, it's like looking at a bone. And Carter actually wrote about folk songs that sometimes they have a beauty the way the skeleton has a beauty. And I get that with this song. It's got this sort of very basic atavistic power and the story I feel gets retold in Carter's short story John Ford's Tis Pity She's a Whore. Now of course the title tells us that she's also using John Ford's play Tis Pity She's a Whore, um, that tragedy and of course she is because the names are the same Annabelle and Giovanni, Annabella and Giovanni become Annie Bell and Johnny. But behind that, that tragedy, there is lurking this song as well. I feel that these songs are like the bones of Carter's writing sometimes and underneath it all, this song is illuminating her story just as much. And the fact that she actually sang it means she knows it under her skin. 